Welcome, in front of me is a POCO X3 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device and when you put it up for the first time you'll present it with this screen right over here so let's start by tapping on the arrow and then selecting our language now once you tap on your language tap on the arrow and choose your region uh, so I'm gonna stick with the one that I selected Connect to network. Now this step is completely optional and you can choose to skip it by tapping on the skip or well, simply connect to your Wi-Fi if you have one right now that you can connect to. So I'm gonna skip it for now. Then we have terms and conditions so you can use user read user agreement as you can see and basically everything else. But at the end of the day you have to scroll down, there we go, and select that I have read and agreed to the user agreement and privacy policy. And from there, tap on the arrow again, and now it's checking for a SIM card. And it basically tells you that I can insert SIM card right now. Um, now, you can do that later on as well. Basically, the moment you're ready to insert your SIM card, you pop out the tray, pop it in there, slide the tray back in, and everything will work. You don't really need to do anything past that. So I'm gonna skip this for now. And then we have Google services, so we have location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now, uh, location basically uses GPS tracking, um, so things for instance like Google Maps can function uh, correctly to its full extent. Uh, scanning basically well, scans, and uh, send user and diagnostic data basically tracks what you're doing on your phone and what you're looking for, and then uh, sends it to um, Google, so basically, uh, and there's on how you use the device and Google can then quotation mark try to improve it uh, and in certain cases this option might be also used for ads but I'm not exactly sure so from there scroll down and tap on accept you can also deselect those I forgot to mention that so if you don't want them you can simply turn them off and then on the next page you have the option to set a password so we have two options fingerprint and screen lock now screen lock will contain a pin pattern or password now, if you choose to go with a fingerprint, you will still have to have a screen lock. But the other way around, it's, uh, it's not required to have a fingerprint. So, I'm gonna go actually with a fingerprint. And as you can see, once you tap on it, it tells you to set one. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the pattern. It gives you a message to remember your password. No duh. Uh, I think we all kind of get the password. It's supposed to be private and remembered. So yeah, got it. And from there, gonna draw the passcode, tap on the arrow, and I can start scanning my finger on the side. So basically you start tapping on it. Now you don't want to press the key, you just want to pre put your finger on it. Move your finger slightly. And there we go. As you can see added successful. Uh, tap on done. And then we have additional settings. Uh, so these are from the brand, I believe. Uh, so you have the location, experiments, programs, send diagnostic data automatically, uh, automatic system updates, and personalized ads. Now, mm, location I can disable, uh, send diagnostic data automatically, no. Uh, automatic system updates, I also don't really like that. And the worst offender of them all, uh, personalized ads, I uh, disable that one. And, and that's one of the things that basically uh, also brings back, hey, hey, do you really want to turn it off? Uh, now, if you're wondering what the personalized ads are, is basically literally looking, the device is scanning what you look for, what you search for. Uh, basically, the device is stalking you and then gives you the ads on what you search for. Um, so yeah, no thanks. Um, and up on the arrow. And from here, choose your theme. Uh, you have two options. Now, honestly, the difference in them is just the wallpaper and the uh, how the icons are, uh, the shape of them, which you can still customize later on through the device anyway. So I'm gonna go with the limitless for now. And tap on arrow, setup complete. To so tap on the arrow again, which is under this. There we go. And let's finish it up. And there we go. So, now the setup is finished. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.